I'm Bob Freeman with Marine Max in Naples, Florida, and I'm here today to talk to you about Sea Ray's 2017 350 Sundancer. Let's start by taking a look at the profile of the boat. It's an absolutely stunning profile on this boat. They've had the, the full hardtop on it, which really has made a big difference on the boat. It's got V drives with um, with uh, four four point uh, four point two liter engines and it also has a diesel generator. Let's, uh, let's take a peek up on the hard top while we're right here. You've got the sure shade that comes back, it completely covers the seating area in the back. You've got the full hard top. And once we get inside, I'll show you a little bit more. We have a sunroof and, a, and an air vent up there and a beautiful windshield. But let's, uh, let's come around to the back of the boat. We have the grill in the back. It's a little kitchen area, got a little sink. So you got a prep station growing, nothing inside the boat, everything's in the back. You've got speakers, you've got sound back here, you've got storage, great stern of the boat, uh, very, very practical, very, very conducive to grilling. As I move inside, we've got uh, a teak table that sets here, and the storage for the legs and everything are all in here, and you can use fenders and everything uh, as well, but you've got a great U-shaped seating in here all the way around to this side as well. We've got a pull-out refrigerator here, and underneath this seat here, we've got a pull-out cooler. So, cooler, refrigerator, all in this area here. Great for uh, having uh, something to drink without having to go down in the back uh, underneath the boat. Let's come on board. Here we are inside the 350, and we're just gonna go over the seating from a different angle, showing you how large the U-shaped seating really is. And it actually comes into almost a full circle. When you put the table down, you've got opposing seating to the left as well. And you've got an air conditioning vent right above it. And the entire sitting area is completely covered with the roof as well as the sure shade. It even extends out past the grilling area. So even when you're grilling, you're still in shade. Very cool. Moving to, to, the, to the middle of the boat, we've got a, a lounger. Uh, it can be used as a seat. You can lounge forward or you can lounge backwards. It, uh, it does both. So a uh, really cool, comfortable seat. And as we move over to the helm area, we've got the Raymarine Electronics, uh, state-of-the-art touchscreen. Uh, it's perfect for uh, everything you're going to need on the boat. You've got a the raised stereo control. All your gauges all protected here. And you've got the digital throttle and shift with a bow thruster. So you'll be able, with the bow thruster, you'll be able to dock this boat just about anywhere. You have a little vent window up on the side. If you want a little cross ventilation, there's one on both sides of the boat, both port and stern. You do have the, the uh, sunroof up here, which can be opened up if you want the, uh, the, the wind and the natural lighting. So this will retract, which is, uh, and even at night it's very cool because you can see the stars. Just a really neat feature. We also have a vent window up here that uh, will allow more fresh air coming in because when you have the full windshield like this with no seams going down the middle, um, it's your, your visibility is fantastic all the way around, 360 on this boat, but you still get between the, the sunroof and the vent, you get plenty of, uh, plenty of air. Let's move on down into the uh, cabin. Here we are down in the cabin. You're gonna see it's wonderfully appointed. It does a lot of things very well for a 35 foot boat. You've got a very large berth up here. It, uh, it can, it can uh, hold someone 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", without any problem. Two people, plenty wide, plenty comfortable. It has curtains to give yourself some privacy. We have a uh, couch over here that'll actually gives you a lounger in here for watching TV. And it will actually pull out down here and it's got the filler cushions that'll go inside and it'll actually make a small bed or a couple of children could sleep here, no problem at all. On the opposing side here, we've got a, a, a two-person bench seat here with a very nice large flat screen TV for, TV for watching movies, and that will actually pull out and angle towards the couch behind me. We we'll come into the galley. We've got the refrigerator, freezer, two burner, stove, microwave, sink. Wonderfully done. Nice windows in in, uh, in the galley as well. You, they do open up, so you can get some fresh air, some cross ventilation if you do uh, you do like that. And then on the opposite side, we've got the head. Very well done, vacuum flush head. Um, you've got the, uh, the teak countertops, big mirror, uh, actual walk-in shower, which uh, 
a lot of the boats this size don't give you, but uh, you get you actually get a real shower, which is uh, in this bathroom is done absolutely beautifully. Okay, here we are in the mid cabin. Very spacious. It's got a little seating area there to get uh, to get changed, and it's got a full locker. And then over here, we've got you can make this up either two twins for two singles for two children, or you can put the filler cushions in, and you can make it into a double bed for two adults. Very comfortably, a lot of room for a mid cabin. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Sea Ray 2017 350 Sun Dancer. It's they have done a fantastic job with the with the redo of this boat. There's so many features I can't even I didn't even get a chance to tell you all about them. But if you do want to hear more about it or have any questions or come down to see it, my name is Bob Freeman. Give me a call at 603-213-1194. I'd love to show it to you.